we have a saying that, you know, nothing happens in Nashville without the aristocratic bands. I can't recall any other band that's done what we've done. The name Aristocrat was bestowed on the band in the uh, early 60s. This is pre-Super Bowl era. This is when it was the NFL championship. The band was performing in Baltimore. Mr. Greer, who is um, considered the father of the aristocrats, he was the director of bands, and he programmed for a halftime show, Bach, Takata, and Feud. We opened that show with the Bach, Takata, and Feud. Now imagine, here's a hundred and some black kids playing Bach at a football game with ice and snow. <laughs> and as the story go, one of the announcers heard the band and said that band is aristocratic. And so that's where the name Aristocratic Bands came from. So one of the things that we've always kind of prided ourselves on, going all the way back to Mr. Greer, is to try to find that unique element with regards to show style, show performance format, whether it's music like Bach, Takata, and Fugue, whether it's a current event that we want to highlight, current event in society, the United States, the world, what have you. It's the details that set us apart. We've pride ourselves on trying to find something unique. And normally those performances always elevate us to something else. Case in point, the, the Grammy. I just, I just want to say these kids so deserve it. These kids work so hard. You know, be in that moment and to be on stage and to look out and kind of just be in this moment like, oh, this just happened. And knowing that the impact that makes historically and also to see the moment when the students, they FaceTime, then, you know, I could see them just going crazy um, after, you know, they accomplished that. You're talking about the top music uh, award. So then you get that sort of relief too. You say, all that hard work paid off. So it was that kind of feeling. With regards to marching band, been a major musical genre in the African-American community, and then gospel music being a major musical genre in the African-American community, and marrying those two together to produce an original album. Well, the outgrowth of that album was the Grammy, of course. I think I'm most proud of the legacy that the band has created. During my era, um, in the last 10 years or so, we've played at the White House twice on the White House lawn. We have performed for an international soccer match. We've been nominated for uh, two Stella Awards last year, nominated for three uh, NAACP Image Awards. We've had some unique experiences, and it aligns with what I call teaching beyond the classroom. We've been a partner of the Tennessee Titans since 1999, since they moved to town. A lot of our kids are from outside of the city of Nashville. Um, and so that is the first time they get an experience at an NFL game. And that goes back to teaching beyond the classroom. All of these things have been just a remarkable experience for us with the Tennessee Titans and something that we're proud of. Aristocratic Bands is a household name in the community. We've been around for over 75 years in this neighborhood, and a lot of the uh, people who live on the backside of campus, even in pre-drill when we're starting to do PT at 6 in the morning, uh, you can see them coming on their back porch just to see how big the band is this year. I constantly hear, what do y'all have next? <laughs> Who's got the best band in the land?